Hi, in this video, we will show you how to simulate a TCP reset attack on an SSH connection between two systems. For this, we need two systems which are connected over the same network and we use Wireshark and HPing3 to simulate the attack. Our first step is to establish an SSH connection between the two systems which we will call B and M. For this, we need the username, IP address and password of M. The syntax of SSH command is shown. To find the IP address, we can use the command IPA. We see the IP address of B here and we have found the IP address of M to be 192.168.43.238. So we run the SSH command and type in the password. We now see that we have been successfully logged in and we can type in any command to verify that it works. Our next step is to open Wireshark and analyze the packets which are transferred between B and M over the network. We open Wireshark in sudo mode to make sure that it works properly. In this screen, we see all the networks and connections that B has and we select the one over which we are connected to M. Here we should be able to see all the packets which are transferred over the network. If we type in any command over SSH, we see the corresponding packets here. On clicking on any packet, we can see its details such as port number, destination port, sequence number, etc. In order to see only what we need and filter out the rest, we use display filters in Wireshark. Here, we only need to see those packets which are transferred between B and M. So we use a display filter to choose those packets which have B as source and M as destination or M as source and B as destination. And we apply the filter. Now we have to use these details from Wireshark in HPing3 to create a spoof TCP reset packet to terminate the TCP connection between the two systems. The man pages of HPing give all the details necessary about the different parameters. Here our first parameter is the destination IP address, then minus P and then the destination port number which is 22, minus S and the source port number which is 60130, minus R to set the reset flag, minus A to set the acknowledgement flag, minus M and then the next sequence number minus L and the acknowledgement number minus C1 to show that only one packet needs to be sent. The HPing command has executed successfully and now if we try to execute any command over SSH we see a broken pipe error which shows that the TCP connection has been terminated. We can also see that a reset packet has been sent in Wireshark from our system. So the TCP reset attack has been executed successfully. Thank you.